Okay, everybody, I am back and helping you to do the six boxes. So first thing is up, we are going to put a horizon line on our paper. Now, as we do this, as I do this, what you could do is you could stop the video, do what I do, and then restart the video. Okay, so I've got my VP over here, vanishing point here, and vanishing point. Remember, this is a two-point exercise which means you gotta have two vanishing points. Okay, so let's do a box below the horizon line first. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna first start with the edge. We said in the videos on the Nearpod that you start with the edge first. So there's edge number one. Remember, it has to be perpendicular to the horizon line. And I'm going to draw this back to my vanishing point in both directions. Okay, so that is step two. Let us do step three. I'm gonna decide how wide I want that box. And it is contained within those orthogonal lines or the lines that receded back. Now, make sure that these lines don't tip in or tip out. So that's step three. Now, step four is to take the top of those and you go directly back to the VP. There, now we're gonna to go to this line that we just did. Go back to the VP, make sure that you're directly on that corner, and draw your line. Okay, so that is box number one. Now for this exercise, I'm only gonna draw three boxes. You're gonna do another one over here, and then you're gonna do another one on the horizon, another one in the up in the above the horizon. Okay, so now let's do one on the horizon. I'll put one over here, make it a bit smaller. So edge of the box, closest to me that goes on first and take that line back to the vanishing point in both directions now as you get better and better at this you don't need to draw the entire length to the vanishing point because you know it's lined up I made a tiny mistake here so let me just fix that and taking this one back to the VP in this direction as well Okay, now that was step two. Step three is to put vertical lines in there. Decide how big you want that box. Remember, make sure that they don't tip over. And you don't stop at the horizon line. Make sure you go all the way through. And this box is actually done because if you notice, it looks like you can't see the bottom or the top of that particular box. So the one on the horizon line is done. So box number one is done and box number two is done. All right, so let's do another box over here. And we start with that edge line. And now I'm gonna show you how not to draw all the way back to the VP. I've got it lined up on the vanishing point, but I'm going to, eh, I know I'm gonna make my box about that long, so I'm just gonna stop there. And I'm gonna do my other lines, stopping approximately the length that I think I wanna make it as wide. Here, how much do I want on the face of that? Line this up. Okay, now, we know that these run all the way back to the VP, so we're going to do step three and contain it within there. So one other thing that I do to make sure that I don't tip my lines over is I'll line it up on that first vertical line and drag my ruler over. So if you sort of keep it nice and parallel to that first line, drag it over and draw your line. Let's do that again on the other side. Drag my line over. Draw my line, perfect. Now that's step three. Now we need to see the bottom of this box. Now let me give you a little tip. If you were to flip this over, notice how it looks just like box number one did, but it's just upside down, right? So if you get confused, just flip it over. Little tip of the day. Now to finish this, we're going to take the bottom of those verticals that we just did. And again, I'm, not, I'm gonna show you how not to go all the way to the VP, just line it up and draw it part way. There we go. Draw part of it. And now once I hit that line, I can stop. And I know that I have box number three done. Now, 
you still need to do three more boxes. I've drawn three of them for you. Now do another one here, maybe another one here, and another one here. And as you get really good at this, like I said, don't draw all the way back. Now make sure to take good photographs of these when you put them on the discussion board and then check back because I do actually give you guys comments. I want to give you feedback on how good it is or maybe if you're missing a line or whatever the case might be. So send me messages if you have any questions. Otherwise, give this a shot. Go through it. Maybe you have to slow the video down, do a step, back it up, try it again. Okay. All right. We'll talk to you soon, guys.